Um, well, I'm against rent control because I saw the negative effects that it had in Berkeley when my son went to school up there. Mm -hmm. And I saw that the student housing was abysmal, that he lived in one room that was a very poorly kept building and he paid $880 to share that room for his school year. Mm -hmm. And I just saw that, that the rent control in Berkeley made the housing get dilapidated and wasn't available and he had a very hard time finding a place to live while he went to school. Mm -hmm. I'm for rent control but not as the only solution. Mm -hmm. There seems to be a misconception that rent control is some sort of like aggressive permanent kind of freeze on rent increase but that's not the case. It's it's basically uh, putting limitations so that landlords can't do things such as like you know what we're giving you a $500 rent increase pay it now or get out yeah. because that is how a lot of landlords have been dealing with their tenants in Long Beach because they want to push them out for higher income tenants to move in. As an attorney that primarily does landlord tenant work I've seen the rents in Santa Monica and West Hollywood I've seen the rents in San Francisco whenever there's rent control instituted the rents go up because there's fewer properties to rent mm -hmm. just by supply and demand also if you have rent control the people that are able to stay there will have a low Lower rent, but the people that are outside of rent control, or once they move or they're evicted, they're going to pay far more than what they would pay had there been no rent control. Mm -hmm. And as a landlord, there's no incentive for me to go ahead and be nice to tenants and give them additional time to pay rent, uh, to make super repairs instead of just basic repairs. There's no incentive for me to do it because I, I'm not able to make the profit I'd normally be able to do. But uh, the ultimate goal is so that people can stay in their homes in Long Beach. You know, there, there are a lot of low-income people that aren't, um, you know, we're not criminals, we're not, you know, in fact, prior to me becoming disabled, I was a student over at uh, Cerritos College and my grade point average was 3.63. When I was there, I was also self-employed as a mobile pet groomer. Um, and raising my daughter, you know, not getting into any trouble with the law or anything like that. So people like this, we deserve uh, rent control because, you know, we need a place to live.